Just outside the wedding venue, Vault Hunter. You gonna want to see this. to assume. I'm as nervous as the last hog in the slaughterhouse. The venue's just gotta be perfect for Alistair. That ginger dynamo of a wet plan I showed me the brochure, but I need to see it for myself. Hell's bells, the gate's locked. If I don't see this place with my own eyes, I'm not gonna sleep a wink tonight. Maybe there's a way around. Follow me. Now, I've grown to trust your judgment, Vault Hunter. Can I ask you, is there anything that scares you? Oh, sure. Birds. Any kind. Big, small, live, cooked, doesn't matter. Can't even eat a chicken nugget. Well, I can't argue with that, but those are troubles of the real. My fears are more intangible. Alistair, he's a man of adventure. Darren do, he'd say. He climbs mountains and tames jungles and loves every second. That ain't my vintage. Sometimes I convince myself he'd rather be with someone a little more gung-ho, a little more exciting. Now, nah, don't mind me. Let's hurry up. You hear that? There's people in there. Maybe they'll let us in. The renewal! It's happening! Got to get away! Hmm, strange fella. Let's cut through here. Breaking and entering! I knew this trip would be fun. We ain't breaking anything, we're just entering. And I already paid our deposit, so I'd like to see them keep me out. An infestation? I hope the venue is in better shape than this. About me, I think. Oh, Rachel. Have a bounty. No, sure. Trigger fingers getting tired over here. Vincent. 
Gideon's renewal is also ours. You and I, my darling, we are eternal. Our worldly troubles shall break like waves upon the rocks. Whatsoever stands in our way, it shall be shattered. Whosoever stands between us, they will be destroyed. I love you, Eleanor. I love you, Vincent. We are eternal. Sounds almost like a wedding ceremony. Hope they don't mind if we take a look at their setup. Locked again. Maybe this one could use some hacking as well, hmm? Vault Hunter? I was being euphemistic there. See if you could shoot that archaic locker. Two by two! Gideon feeds and our bond is renewed. They're throwing people into that pit. Hey, you robe-wearing cowards! Unhand those innocents! What's this? Darling, look. We have someone new. We can play with them after the renewal is complete, beloved. Hear me, my bonded. Take care of these worms. Right. We 
gotta keep these roped up weirdos off of. Already, I. Heart. He will make the perfect host. Thank you so much for bringing him to me. What was going on back there? The brochure didn't mention any of this. <laughs> Monkey gets. Wild, we are a little off plan, but I think we can smooth things out from here. But uh, I I think you should talk to Hammerlock. Never ever ever go to the woods, unless you're a wolf. Cage, what? My word, Winnie! Get out of. Get out of my... Vault Hunter, what in the devil happened to Wainwright? A bunch of raw-wearing wackos attacked, but we fought him off with style. Wainwright's gonna be fine. Well, thank heavens you were there. Look, he's coming around. Winnie, are you all right? The heart still beats. Winnie, wake up! Mm -hmm. Oh, Vault Hunter, there you are. I must have dozed off for a moment. Must have been the whiskey. Here, take my shotgun. Can't trust my hands right this moment. Well, I suppose that's one way to start the celebration. But now, thanks to Gage and the Vault Hunter, it seems everything has settled down. We're back on track, and I'm sure nothing else will go wrong. My esteemed guest, might I have a word? 
over here at the counter. I'm afraid the young groom-to-be isn't out of danger. He brought something back with him into the lodge. You should attempt to remove that ring from his finger without alarming the happy couple. What were you doing out there? I'll keep your chaps on, Alistair. We just ran into some robe-wearing punks with bad manners, and the vault hunter and I had to be a sense of decorum into them. Nothing more to worry about. Let me get a look at that fancy ring there, Wainwright. Oh, sure, of course. The vessel has been chosen. It's only a matter of time. Winnie, what are you saying? What? I, I don't... I don't know. But I do feel a bit, uh, sideways. It is as I feared. Another moment of your time, if you would. At the counter. That ring on his finger has pounds beyond mortal comprehension. The lodge is slowing the effect to a degree, but the outcome is inevitable. You must find a way to remove it, or I'm afraid he will miss the ceremony. Entirely. There is a man known as Burton Briggs who is proficient at uncovering secrets. A detective of sorts. He can help you learn more about this ring and its origins. Look for him at his agency, the Eyewitness. Do be careful. Your actions this night have stirred the bonded into quite the frenzy. The streets will be rather hazardous. You could always stay here. The Lodge wants you to be... comfortable. Ever so sorry I didn't invite you to our bachelor party. I assure you, the Lodge is the safest place for Master Jim. Help me, Mix. Darkness itself. I go by DJ Midnight. Dark dirges and mixed malevolent melodies in the name of undying love. My sons are stale, putrid, and I new sounds. Record some sinister sounds for me. Yes. Sure, why not? I used to do a fair bit of recording in my day. Corporate espionage and the like. Excellent. And so our dark journey begins. We hunt for the sinister sound. Take that echo recorder, my trusty conductor. Just so you know, it's also cursed. All right, cursed day. What now? Go out and find some unholy percussion. My desire is to shake the skeletons of my ancestors, as well as the living guests. A moment of your time. The rules of the Lodge must be respected. The Lodge only wants to provide hospitality, but I am afraid there are still some who abuse their guest privileges. A young man named Gideon has made off with a selection of exotic wines without paying his tab. If you could find him, the lodge would be ever so grateful. Gideon came in from the cold in need of shelter. He asked for something to blind him from the things he had seen. Of course, I had just the claret for him. He took to it well. Too well, it seems. 